Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Sunset Hills. This is an early access demo of a game that isn't out yet. So I'm going to have a little look at this. It looks really, really cute, really nice, wonderful artwork. And we are going to open up our book and start a new game. Let's go. But already you can tell how nice this animation is. This art style is going to be so good. But let's see what this story is about. All right, so we got a dude writing away. Or riding the train. I wonder what you're writing about. Oh, it's the prologue of the departure. Got a nice cup of tea here. Looks good to me. So it's the point and click game as far as I'm aware. Oh, afternoon passengers. It's currently 3.40pm on September 12th. The final destination to Southern Express is Boring City. We will soon be arriving in Topic. Oh, wow. I'm not taking in all of this information because there's so much going by. Wishing you a pleasant journey. Thank you very much. But this is our stop by looks of it. That's it. Oh, we have a letter. Okay, we can click on that, right? All right, click. What does the letter say? Dear Nico, how are you doing? The last time we met by chance was three years ago. I got town, right? I still remember your shocked expression when you didn't recognise me wearing formal clothes. Is your novel still going well? Great writer. At that time, I said I got the latest clues to her whereabouts, but unfortunately it was still a waste of time. I really do not know where else to find her. Perhaps she's just hiding from me. Recently, I often think about our days back in the barracks, that Andy had received the wrong size uniform and his embarrassment of having to wear tights throughout the training, and how we all pretend to be sick in order to see Louise. The wars left us with scars that may never heal, but also gave us a precious friendship. It's time for you to see the sights of my hometown, and I'll be waiting for you at the Grand Hotel Kurt. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, Doug Kurt. Oh wow, our friend owns a hotel. But yeah, they were in the barracks together, so they were in the army. Okay, so we're going to go and meet a friend who we've not seen for a couple of years. But this is our stop. Grab your stuff. And off we go. Oh, the design is so good. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so off we go. Hopefully that wasn't our bus because we missed that one. But here we are. So what, what can we do? Interactions. Okay. So we can change our, our movement mode. Interact with characters and scene content. New interactions of unexplored things. And your backpack. Alright, so we have to go to Topic Town and go to the hotel. So if I press B. Okay, so we have a map. A mezzanine grid of our collectible items, handwritten album illustrations, catalogue and Nico's novels are stored in the mezzanine. And we can get some items at some point. So let's list this. Okay, so this is our jobs we want to do. Go to Topic Town, which I'm guessing that's where we are now, and go to the Kirk Grand Hotel to meet up with Doug, our old buddy old friend. So what's this? Topic Train Station Timetable. Okay, the Southern Express leaves at 9am on September the 27th. Okay, no problem. But yeah, point and click, we're going to be searching around see who we can talk to see what we can learn about this new place what are these bernini baker's award-winning bread rainbow bread wow would you eat that that's a lot of colorant in that bread <laughs> i bet it's tasty so what's over here a sign a poster of topic featuring famous local landmarks bernie's bakery topic park and the kurt grand hotel we got fens in powerful places Let's talk to the gentleman here. Hello. Excuse me? Ah? Uh, how do I get to Tobik Town? Oh, the town's on the west side, about five kilometres from here. If you want to go to, you can wait for a bus. But the last one just left, so you need to wait about an hour. Is, is there maybe another way to get there? Um... Yes, there is. I remember the owner of the fruit store is making the delivery to town today. Go ask him for help. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, so tell us 
about the hotel. Do you know where the Kirkgrad Hotel is? Well, I know, it's in Topic Town. That I also know, but could you tell me the location? It's on an island in the middle of the lake. It's just a short boat ride away. I see. Cool, thank you. All good, all good. I'm I'm in awe of this artwork and the design of this game. It is beautiful. What was this? A bench? I guess we could wait for a bus if we really wanted to. It's a nice little sit down. Oh, there's a phone box. It's got a scamper on round. Can we phone someone? Have we got a number? Not sure we do, but let's just try. Who we call in? Who do I call? I got no idea, so we shall leave, because I don't have a number to call. But I think that's the station. Well and truly investigated. What's up here? Oh, it's the bus stop. The bus just left, and there are some small adverts and a missing persons poster. Who's missing? That don't sound good. But anyway, it's a lovely, lovely day. So h how do we go through? Just click to the side of the screen. New area. What's this? The owner's mailbox, and the owner's last name is Mikkel. Okay. Cool. Got some pigeons. It's just so beautiful. So nice. Oh, are you the fruit seller? We should talk to him. Hello. Sir, are you going into the town for delivery today? What for? Do I know you? And how did you know I was going to make a delivery? I heard from the train conductor. Ah, fat guy. Hey, I don't think this delivery is going to happen. Oh, what's the problem? The order list is dirty. All the things written on it are illegible. How can I deliver this now? All this bad luck I have. I'm going to get scolded by my wife again. Everyone's got a bit of a temper, right? How about I don't deliver it at all? But that's breaking your contract. The most important thing in a business is credibility, don't you think? I mean, yeah, boss. But it's almost time for the deadline. Okay, we're going to help this dude. If you don't mind, you can show me the list. Maybe I can help. Oh, you have an idea? You're so enthusiastic. Now take it and have a go then. Alright, give me that. Well, that looked messy as hell. So let's... Hang on, let's have a look. What is this? Oh, that, that is a messy bunch of stuff. So I've got to figure out a way to clean that off, maybe? Is there a puddle? Or somewhere we can rinse it off. So what, what's this way? Can we go through the gate? We've got our first puzzle. We're going to have to work this out. Sir. How's it going? How'd you get on with the list? Nope, not done yet. I'll try again. If it doesn't work, forget it. I'll go and apologise tomorrow. Okay. So how, how do I fix this situation? Let's just have another look. So I have got... Oh, what was that? The list. All oh, the list. Is there anything I can learn about it? Let's have a look. Ah, here we go. Item selection interface. After setting an item, click the magnifying glass and it allows you to enter the item inspection interface. Yes, I just worked that out. It's all good. Okay, so let's have a look. When the gear shows up, it signifies that the item has interactive content. Cool. An order list from Bernini's Bakery. The writing was soaked with water, and it's impossible to read the information about the goods. Okay, what can we do about this? Can I flip it? Can I do anything with it? I think we're in trouble. Can we dry it out? Can we give it a shake? Not sure. Not sure for now. Maybe we need to find something else. Maybe the, the helpful dude back at the station can help me out. Because I don't think there's much going on here that we can... Do, do a lot with. Oh, hang on. I'm just looking at the poster. There's a phone number there. 6801. We can order some bread. Hey, it's something to do. Alright, so let, let's go on over. Let's just do this. So is it 6801? Let's make a call. I still haven't figured out what to do with the, the shopping list yet, but we can give it a go. I've forgotten already. Hang on. Is it 6801? Hang on. So 6... How'd you turn? Oh, God, I like this. Six. 
eight. Oh, one. Hello. It's working. Hello, Benini Bakery. What do you need? Okay, there we go. I'd like to ask you about the list that the fruit owner wrote. Oh, which fruit store owner? Oh, what's his name? Mikkel. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Mikkel. It could be Michael, but I'm sticking with Mikkel. No problem. Please take a note of the contents of the list. Okie dokie. Blueberries. £25. Hang on, I'm gonna... Notes. Paper. Pen and paper. Oh, that doesn't seem right. I'm sorry. Could you say it again, please? Didn't take the note down? Okay, one more time. Blueberries. It's got... That's, it's, this, it's this one. It's this one. Mint leaves. £15. Oranges. £40. Nuts. £40. Got to be this one. And mango. £25. Thanks very much. You're welcome. That was cool. We just had to double check the list. And I didn't have to make notes on a bit of paper. The game did it for me. So that's kind of cool. So let's go for a, a jog on back. We're such a, a peaceful, contented little dude. We look so happy. And now we're going to be even happier because we can help out someone in need. How's it going? You got the list? Yeah, I got it. It's all good. Let's have a look. Wow, I can't believe you did it. You're really awesome. Since you'd helped me out so much, I don't want to give up just yet. Could you please give me a ride though? I'm going to town as well. Sure. I was just thinking of how I should thank you. Wait, I'll load up first. We'll leave in just a minute. Hey, that's cool. Whoa! My man got his stock. It's so peaceful. Just hearing the birds chatter away in the background. There's no music. It's it's just it's just a country side vibe, you know. Small little village town. But we're gonna go into the big town now. Okay, I'm in. And off, off we go. Oh, oh, lost lost a couple bits. I'm sure it's fine. Hey, we don't have to wait for the bus now. Hold on to your seat. I have to drive fast. Do, do you have to? We can go slow. I don't know if we'll be on time by five. Help me see what time it is. Okay, how, how do we do that? Okay, here we go. Uh, turn the radio on, maybe? Ah! Oh, watch. So what's the time say? It's broken, but I would say that it is... Are we in the PM? No, it's, it's uh... Oh god. Why do I... <laughs> this game's put me on the spot. How do you tell the time? And I'm like, oh, I'm... Okay, we're gonna go with 24 hour clock, so it's... 14... 16... 50. Yes. It's 10 to 5. What? Only 10 minutes? Should be in time though, right? Can't panic. Just listen to some music and relax. Damn. How got the radio is broken again? Okay, let's have a look at the radio. Uh, switch it on. Anything? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. So, this one down, these two up, and then we can tune it. The radio's indicator needle seems to be stuck. It says 3.5. Hang on. So we've got clues down here, one is down, two are up, and then it says 3.5. So what's, what's the combination that we need here? I've got to work out these puzzles. Because this looks like the left hand one should be down, and the, the other two should be up. That's what it looks like to me. How do I work out this radio? Sir, can't panic, listen to some music. Okay, so we gotta, we got to get this sorted. Check your radio. Never touch someone's radio unless you got permission. But he's given us permission, so... Let's see what we can... Oh! Oh no! The indicator needle is completely broken now. 
that that's not good. It, it it completely it's completely gone. So the indicator needle is completely broken, and I don't. Hang on. So how do you know what you're tuning it to? What what else can we do? The watch. Ah, if that, well, that's broken. So let's let's break that a bit more. I'll just help myself to that. I'm just gonna break one thing to fix one thing. There we go. Okay, so we want three and a half. Does that count, right? Hey, there's the music. You're pretty good. Can't believe you fixed it. I mean, don't ask about your watch. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. This song's always been a particular favourite of mine. Oh, yeah. He's really getting into it. It's so much more soothing. Yep. Making friends. Why'd you come to our town? You travelling? Sort of. Came to see an old friend. Oh, I see. Where did your friend live? Oh, if it's convenient, could you give me a ride to the Kirk Grand Hotel? Oh, your friend stays at the hotel. Oh, works there, right? The Kirk Grand Hotel is his home. Huh? What's his name? Doug. Doug Kurt. Doug Kurt? He's the current master of the Kurt family. Oh my god, he's your friend? Uh... Yeah, you seem to be a bit excited about that. That's the Kurt family, one of the most legendary families in Topic. When Mr. Dillon Kurt died of illness, the family was left without a successor, and everyone thought the Kurt family would fall into a decline. Then a few years later, his missing son, Doug, suddenly came back and took over the family business. In a few years, he brought the family back to its peak. I didn't realise Doug was so competent. He's already surpassed his father, and he's so young. I knew there was nothing he couldn't do if he wanted to. It's thanks to the Kurt family that our town's so prosperous. Okay, so it's not like a big evil dude. He, he's just a... He's an important guy, valuable to the town. I can't delay your meeting. Sit tight. Okay, I'll drop you off at the bus stop. You'll see the Kurt Grand Hotel if you keep walking along the lake. Okie dokie, thank you. And help me see what time it is, Mr. Kurt's friend. Oh, it's five o'clock? Yeah, we did break your watch. It's been ten minutes already. Yeah, we broke your clock. I'm, I'm sorry, but we're not going to tell you that we did that. <laughs> we'll pretend it's fine and we have made it. Thanks for the ride. This is the town's bus stop. See you later, little friend. Okay, Mr. Michael, I look forward to seeing you again. Mikkel, I'm going to stick with Mikkel. It's probably wrong. And away he goes. Okay, we made it to town, so that's the start. What's, what's over here? A map. A map of topic. Available for self-service. Pick up at the adjacent newspaper rack. I'll take one. I'll take two. No, don't be greedy. So we got ourselves a map. Okay, so what's this sign? The monthly poster of the Topic Town Star with a picture of the winner of the month on it. I wish I could read this language because I don't know who won it. Okay. So I think that that'll do for that area. Got these birds. So what are we talking like? This is like a like a European kind of city. Oh, we can... Hang on. We're going all directions. Hang on. Where am I now? Hello. It's the singing lady. How you doing? It's time to make dinner. The kid's gone wild and isn't back yet. Oh, we gotta find someone then. Hang on, I didn't even realise I could go up the stairs like that. So here's our map. We are currently... Uh, we just left Nova Street and we went through Willow Street. There's the Benini residence. So is that the way we came from before? Okay, so the hotel is... Okay, it's a big town. It's a big old town. But yeah, the thing we were talking about before. Hang on, let's get away from her. I don't wanna I don't wanna listen to her singing right this moment. I wanna head on back. But our guy, he's a novelist, isn't he? So what what does he write? Sunset Hills. Is that his book? My adventure novel, Sunset Hill. This one I kept intentionally in my bag. Holds great significance to me. 
since it's the first printing of the first edition. Okay, and what else have you got? Your notes. Is that all your friends? So I'm guessing this is our guy. Oh no, this is our guy at the, at the bottom. So these are his four friends, which I'm guessing we're going to try and visit everybody. Okay. And we've got no other notes. Interesting. So let's let's have a little look around that wasn't straight into that way. This, that's, this is the back of town. So this is the opposite way to where we want to be. What have we got? The shop window's full of merchandise. Is there a note on the door? Oh! Oh, sorry, man. Ow. Be careful where you walk in. Why is everyone so reckless today? Hey, he dropped something. Something went down there. I saw it go. Spanner. There's a wrench inside, but the gap is too narrow to get out by hand. I have nothing. Can I use my pen? <laughs> I don't think I can. That's my fault though. Maybe I can make it up to him somehow. The owner of Reeves Grocery Store has stepped away and isn't expected back for a while. Well, we're causing chaos. Oh, we could go. We can go down here. Yeah, we're definitely going the wrong direction to where we're supposed to be. So this is the, yeah, port side sorta. Go fishing. Hey, sir. What's up? Excuse me. Quiet. Oh, sorry. I did make a lot of noise, didn't I? Don't talk, you're scaring the fish away. I can't believe I didn't catch a single one today. Oh. Hooked one. Well, what we got? That doesn't make sense. Was the bait not good enough today? It's possible, though I don't know much about fishing. I ran out of good bait and didn't have time to buy any. I'm too old. My eyes aren't too good. So I can't just lie on the ground and dig for worms. Hey, a magnet though. I'll take that. Yoink. <laughs> Later's power. Oh, what's here? Please don't trample the flowers. I will do my best to not do that. Oh, we can go up these stairs. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh. I told her to have her dad bring the boat ticket back after work, but she insisted on going to get it herself. Dinner's ready, and I still haven't seen her. Oh, we've got all little people with all little things that they want. Oh, was she the person who was singing earlier? Have I gone in a full circle? I have. Oh, where did the wrench go? My guy. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm looking for my wrench? I've got no time for you. Well, I think I can do something about that. I got the magnet. So as long as that spanner is a good kind of metal, I should be able to use the magnet on it. So let's try it here. But there's something about this game. It's very gentle. The whole premise and a by philosophical approach is like, take your time, keep it slow, enjoy the moment, and don't, don't, don't be rushed. That's it. So I've got this. It's a... It's a magnet for the man at the lake. Yeah, it is a bit weird that there was a thing there. So we have got the magnet. I can use it, right? When interactive bubbles appear, or when entering a pop-up interface, you can open the backpack to use items. After selecting the item, click on use. Got it. So here's our magnet. Oh, it's not long enough to get it. Is it not? Okay, so we got to extend our magnet powers somehow. Where have I gone? I'm running off around the distance. Oh, busy, busy, busy. There's so many people. Let's just talk to everybody. Hello. Oh, i got to get a date with her today. Oh, why am I nervous? Relax. You're having a date? Good luck. Can we go down the back alley? Wow, I'm getting so distracted. My guy. How you doing? Okay, couple of chefs. Great, you're hiding out here again. It's because the fruit hasn't arrived yet. Okay, legit, I just looked it up, and apparently this word, it's not Michael, it's not Mikkel, it's Michelle. Okay, so I have been corrected, so we're going to work with this now. But yeah, this is a fruit delivery man guy. Don't give me that. 
You're not busy enough today. Get in there and get to work. The fruit is on the way because we know he's in town. I'm not making excuses. Look what time it is. Okay. The, the lock of the iron gates in the back alley is broken and currently impassable. All right, good. But maybe once the fruit delivery arrives, it will change. Hello. Who are these people? This one's kind of hard. What are you doing? Hello, stranger. I'm working on a game that's popular with the kids nowadays. I suddenly forget what it's called. Anyway, it's the game where you use a string to create various shapes and pass it on. And my son's been really into it lately. It's flipping ropes, isn't it? I think we, here we call it Cat's Cradle, but as the game's full of dogs, maybe that's not a good idea. Oh, you know this game? Then you must know how to play it. How about it? Do you want to have a go? Whoever messes up the rope first loses. Um, sure, we can try. I accept. Okay, let's, let's have a go. The rules of the game are that we take turns flipping the ropes until one of us fails. I'll go first. Wait, tell me. Okay, so he like this, so I'm going to grab it in the middle. Is that how it works? Oh no. Let's try again. Let's try again. I I did a little bit of this when I was very, very, very young. I don't remember how you do it now. Okay, so he got it like this, which I am guessing... Is it the bottom one? We just got to match the type, or is that going to mess it up again? Oh wow, we are terrible! One more go! <laughs> There's only three options, and I'm getting them all wrong. Alright, so he's like this, so I'm going to grab it like this. There we go. Now he, he take it back. Easy. So he got it long ways. So what's the next step on this? Don't you like put your fingers through and then thread it in a different kind of way. I it's, I don't think it's the bottom one. It's either the top one or the middle. I think it's the top one. Grab. Oh wow, I'm, I'm so bad. I'm determined. It's one of those things that you just keep doing it and doing it. Gimme, give gimme give that. All right, so top one was this. Oh, it actually leaves me a little marker so I can work it out each time. Sweet. All right, cool. He just, no hesitation, takes it back. Fine, middle. It's going to be the bottom one, isn't it? Well, of course. I make okay. My instincts are bad. <laughs> At the old cat's cradle. All right, so top. Then we know it's the bottom one because my instincts failed me completely. So give me this. I just, I just want to play this one. Okay, good. Throw it back. Uh, now he's getting stuck. Oh, I got it. Oh, this one. Didn't he just do this one with us? No, it's different. I'm good. Oh, it's the top one. It's got the little marker next to it. It means we can kind of cheat, but it means we're learning. Like this. Are we struggling now? Oh, he lost! There you go. I seem to have gotten the hang of it though. This game's really interesting. You've played with me for so long, thanks. I'll give you some red string as a souvenir. Thanks. That gives me an idea. So I have got string. Can I combine that? Yeah, I can combine it with the magnet. So if I put that with that, combine them. Yay, we can get our spanner. Was this kid? Hello? Shoo. This plane's so chic. You think it's great too, don't ya? Do you want it? No. No? I can't. You can't have mine. If you want it, go to the amusement park. You can redeem it if you win a gift voucher. My dad won it for me. I didn't want it anyway. So yeah. No thank you. Lady, how you doing? What can I do for ya? Hey madam, may I? I don't know anything. Go ask someone else. I shouldn't have come on this trip while pregnant. My back hurts and I can't even get the rainbow bread. What a misery. So she wants rainbow bread. This lady here, what's going on? Are you here for the bread? You're going to have to queue up from the back. The line's really long though. True, it's normal to have this amount of people, but it's rarely as slow as it is today. 
I don't know what's going on. Something going on in the shop. Some kind of drama situation. Hello? What's good? Go away. Oh, rude. How about you? Hello? Wow, business is really booming. What's everyone wanting to buy? Sorry, sir. If you want to buy bread, please line up. Oh, we're really busy. Guest, please be patient a little longer. I've already urged the kitchen, and it should be out in the oven in two minutes, I think. I've been waiting here for 20. Where's my bread? Oh, sorry. The chef isn't here today, so the bread's being made a bit slower. Hurry up. I've already urged the baker. Please calm down. It's a good thing I don't have anything else to do today. If I were busy... Wow, you are sweary Mary. So, can, can we help her? What's up here? Got the chefs. In 794, Bernini won first place in the bread competition. Cool, what's this? Oh, it's a little cupboard. Anything we can have a look at? It's locked. I'm guessing that's a note. I have no clothes to change into. Let's just go out. Let's go out. We'll check out the kitchen, maybe? Hello. Just let myself in. It's fine. Oh, we got kicked out. Kitchen staff only. Sorry, man. I'm just a... Although, I'm new to town. I don't know the rules, even though it kind of makes sense that you shouldn't do something like that. There's an incident here. Oh, it's a car crash. Oh, that's the fruit delivery. That's why the bread's not being made. Hello, sir. Which way are you going? Can't you see there's been an accident on this road? Oh, sorry, officer, but I need to get to the ferry pier. That can't be passed either. It's temporarily blocked off. And when is it going to be unblocked? That I can't promise you. At least not until we finish the deposition. That's a problem. This isn't the only way to the pier, is it? Of course not. There's a back alley. Sir, please step aside and don't get in the way of our official duties. Oh, I know the driver. It's Michelle, the fruit shop owner. Could I have a word with him? Yes, but don't stay too long. Yes, sir. Okay, they're barking at each other, but h hello. If you don't pay up, don't even think about leaving. Compensate you, money. It was clearly you who rushed out of nowhere. Why should I pay you? Ah, this is a new car. Worth at least 50,000. How much is your broken car worth? Since you're so shabby, I'll kindly let you pay a little less. Just 10,000. Hurry up, otherwise I'll be with you till the end of the day. Oh, dream on. What's going on? Oh, it's you, little brother. It's really unlucky. Obviously, this guy has crashed into my car. Not only did he say it was my responsibility, but also wants me to pay 10000 I couldn't make that much money, even if I sold fruits for a whole year. Driving a luxury car is not such a big deal. My car also needs repairs. He should be compensating me. He's definitely trying to scam me. It's not that easy. Let's just keep this up. Who's afraid of who? Okay, so neither are budging. What? You got a helper now? Hey, I'm not taking sides. You think I'm afraid of you? Let me tell you. If you don't pay me back today, this won't be over. So let's investigate. How did you crash exactly? How did it happen? I drove from the pier side to make a normal turn, and the lorry suddenly stopped. Spinning the truth. My car was parked on the side of the road, and you crashed into it. You're twisting things and blaming me. Is there no justice? I bet you're trying to extort money. Always oh, barking and all sorts. Oh, assault! You pauper, look closely. What kind of car do I have? The latest luxury model. Do I need to cheat you? I'm still being patient here. You better compensate me now, or you'll regret it. Okay, so that's not a good situation. So, let's... Who's this? Reading the newspaper. Suspicious dude. Hey, sir. Not talking. How do you do? Ignoring me. How about this guy? Sipping away on the tea. A beautiful town sunset with a nice cup of black tea. Is there anything more pleasant in the world? 
I'd love to write a poem. Don't make me get up to go to work at this hour. I haven't enjoyed it enough. Hello, can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, he ignoring you. Sir, it's rude to eavesdrop. Oh, me? Sorry, didn't mean to. I don't suppose you're from around here. Are you new to this town? Hmm, how did you know? Yes, because... You're carrying a suitcase, which means you just got off the train and haven't arrived at your destination yet. And there's only one Southern Express this afternoon. It's the 4.30, and the train station's about a 20 minute ride from town. It's about 5 now, which, counting the time it took to hitchhike over, basically matches. Ooh, that's all correct? Yeah, I was just going to say you didn't sound like a local. So, introduce yourself. I'm White. What's your name? Oh, I'm Nico Grant. Um, just call me Nico. Oh, nice to meet you, Nico. Wait a minute, Nico. I remember a new writer named Nico too. I don't think his last name was Grant though. Author of the novel Sunset Hills, Nico Roy. Oh, right, right. Hey, why are you saying my words again though? I can remember. Hey, that's me. That's my pen name. So you're Mr. Nico. I just read your new book. It's great. Oh, I'm flattered. Oh, I forgot to introduce this guy. This rude bloke's name's Pinkman. Hello, Mr. Grant. I'm Sherlock Pinkman. Nice to meet you. I wonder who he's based on. You know how to say hello. I thought you got to keep ignoring people. I was looking at the paper for a lead. Well, did you find it? No, I didn't. Well, what lead are you looking for? Are you the famous detective? It's an honour to meet you here. It's also an honour to meet the great writer, like you here. Oh, excuse me, you here on a case? We've been asked to look for a lady, and we've come all this way to find out that she might be in this town. In which case, with such a great detective, you're sure to find the lady. Yeah, should I leave? No, 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 you can carry on with your job. We're not going to bother you. But why not solve the case behind? There's a big old incident going on here, blocking the path. And it's a, it's a lot of trouble right now. We can't go in the cafe, so let's go back. But we do have a magnet. So it's da -da -da -da, just here, isn't it? There we go. So if I get the magnet tied with string, use it. And then we can get the spanner out. Come on. There we go. Result. Can I keep the magnet as well? Yeah, we still got it. That's going to be super useful. So, my guy was just around here, I'm pretty sure. Sir. I've got something for you. This. So, hang on, let's talk to him first. Got it. It was my fault. We kind of bumped into each other. That's my wrench. They didn't say thank you. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> That's great. I have to fix it now. I'm wasting too much time. Okay, so he done his job though. How you doing, sir? Can we talk about the back alley, please? Sorta. Of. It's not exactly the kind of question you ask a stranger, but we'll go with it. Could you fix other things though? Of course. Nothing I can't fix. So you could fix a broken lock, right? That's easy. The lock on the back alley gate's broken and won't open. Could you help me fix it? Well, usually people don't go that way much. What are you doing there? I wanted to go to the pier, but there was an accident and the road's blocked, so I have to use the back alley. Oh, okay. I'll go there as soon as I finish what I'm doing. You should be able to cross there later. Thanks, man. Hey, that's cool. And we got ourselves a new thing that we can do, and I think we're going to continue this adventure, exploring this town in the next episode. I hope you find this as charming as I am. It's really, really cool. And we're going to explore this town a little bit more. We're going to finally get down that back alley and maybe meet with our friend. But that is it for now. This is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.